Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trentalian, and welcome to... Grim Tales, the Air, Collector's Edition. This is Act 1. And to answer the question that surely has happened to the to anyone who has watched my last episode for Grim Tales, aren't you supposed to be playing Monkey Island right now? And the correct answer is yes. Unfortunately, when I tried to record an episode for it, I had some problems. Some of them I managed to fix. But there is one where, for some reason, my recording software stops recording the video when a cutscene occurs. It'll get the game audio just fine, but the video won't. Now, I've seen on some walkthroughs I've gone through to fix some other problems that it is a common problem, there is ways to fix it, but as of right now, I'm still troubleshooting. And I need to record for today, so we're going to hold Funky Island off for a little bit, and we'll go into the next game for Grim Tales. Hopefully I shall have the problems with Monkey Island solved by the time I finish with the air. That is the plan, that is what I'm hoping for. And if you guys have ever played Monkey Island, Escape from Monkey Island, which is what it's called, and you are familiar with this problem that I'm having, and know how to fix it, please, please, let me know down in the comments. Just keep in mind, I am not tech-savvy. I'm, I'm sure you figured that out for yourselves before, especially with audio problems I've had in the past. But in the meantime, we are now in the beginning of the air. Now, I'm gonna be really quiet when I commentate on this, because I still remember relatively well what happens here. It was definitely one of the more memorable games in the Grim Tales series. So, I'm gonna try and keep my silence so I don't spoil things. And if you- if I suddenly have this moving around like, oh, I'm talking, but there's silence, that means I'm accidentally giving you a spoiler and I edited it out. <laughs> so anyway, let's start. Enough talking. Casual, because we're just playing here. It's Brandon. I need your help. Please, come to the family castle as soon as you can. I need to find a way to get into the castle. Special feature Sylvie. And I find her license plate to be funny, though I'm pretty sure you need numbers. That's a requirement, not an option. Even if you're using a custom work. Ooh, hi. The Grey's castle looks majestic. I guess it hides a lot of grim secrets and mysteries. Okay. Now I'm just going to, at first, check... This. Okay, there are morphine objects, collectibles, and puzzle pieces. Oh, and this is one of those. They don't have them all in one thing. So morphine objects will be in the main area. Collectibles. The first one is next to, I'm assuming, Brandon. Puzzle pieces are in the mini screens. Got it. Well, that's for the screensaver collection. I need to get rid of this padlock somehow. Maybe there's something in this bag I could use. There must be something under here. Is 
Some things are missing. Well, I have this, so I can open this now. Pliers, broken umbrella, and a wedge. Fix umbrella. Oh. I figured you'd use it. No. Nope. I can't examine the flower bed unless I t until I turn off the watering system. Samuel Gray. I need something long to reach it. Is this long enough? I don't know how tall you are. Yep. Okay. The doors are too thick. No one will hear me knock. There's something stuck in here. I need to get out somehow. Uh, I have pliers. No? A wedge? Yeah. Guess I need something heavy duty now. Like a rock or a hammer. Ask and ye shall receive. Boom. Oh. I got an achievement for that one. Okay. Not sure why in this situation you'd be looking for white flowers. Or flowers in general. Well, now I just feel dumb. Flowers with five petals. I, I think that was a clover, not a flower. But I suppose I'm just nitpicking with that. Okay, I'm down to my last one. Six, six. There you go. Not quite sure how that happened, but hey, we have magical time powers that let us change the future. Or present as it is. So, who, who's gonna go for details like that, huh? Hello, Anna Gray. My name's Alfred. I'm the butler. We've been expecting you. Please. Come in. Sound like, sounds like these I'm remembered... Remembered. Reminded that this is a very old and wealthy family. The young Lord Grey asked me to give you this envelope. I assume he explains the current situation in the letter. If you'll excuse me, the Master asked me to look after Lady Grey. There is a collectible. John. Hmm, just make his head bobble. So we're collecting bobble heads. My dear Elena, I love you, but you must stay with Alfred. Billy's gone missing, and I can't just stand around and do nothing. I'll comb every corner of this castle. Darling, I promise I'll find him, and I'll bring him back. Elena's box is missing a button. So, Elena is Brandon's wife. Aunt Anna, I called because something horrible's happened to my family. My wife Elena and I were in the hall. All of a sudden, she screamed and lost consciousness. When I turned to catch her, I saw an old man grinning. 
then he vanished into the wall. Elena's alive, but she hasn't woken up. My son Billy's missing. He kept saying he saw a strange figure in the castle. Whatever this evil is, it won't leave us alone. I can't just sit here and do nothing. This castle's too big for me to search alone. Will you help me look for Billy? Take this key to his room and examine it. Your nephew, eh, nephew. Where's my tongue? Your nephew, Brandon Gray. So we're a great aunt now. Oh. Well, at least we gathered that. This style of game. Okay, let's try this first. Nope, that doesn't work. And that's just going to send me back here, so let's try this. Hmm. And that takes away my ability to do anything at all. Okay, so that brings me back to base. Let's see if this helps me. It does not. Let's try this. Okay. That's a temporary fix that. And boom! Done. Whoa! Some strange things happen in the castle. Perhaps Brandon is right and the curse of the Greys wasn't lifted from it. Another puzzle piece. If I had the recipe, I could make find the necessary items. Okay, so I'm gonna need that later. There used to be a photo hanging here. I guess Billy didn't want someone looking through his things. Fair enough. Oh! Well, got some minor repairs done. Don't forget the morphine object. Now for Billy's room. There's someone in there. Perhaps it's Billy? Doubtful. Pretty sure Billy's room would be the first room they look. There we go. There's Louisa. Right next to John. There's the morphine object. Oh, I've got two out of three for that. That turtle doesn't look friendly. I don't want to reach in there. Yeah, they, it's actually... Turtles can be very unfriendly and they can bite your finger off. Completely and utterly, I mean.
many many an injury is equated to not knowing how to properly handle in them. Of course, that can be said for any animal, really. I bet the resident of this cage can bring me the item. But turtles especially got it bad simply due to the fact people don't think of it. Or I should say, don't associate it with him. Figurines are missing. Oh, let's go over here now. I can get the magnet at the very least. Maybe use the magnet for the. Yep! Can't stop me, can ya? I was about to say, you took your shiny away. But I wonder how good is Turtle's eyesight? I only just thought of this now. Dogs are colorblind. Cats are only colorblind to the color red. They can see any other color, but red they can't see. Which I always found interesting. I wonder how well turtles see. Or don't see, maybe. They at least see, but I'm not sure how good their eyesight is. Okay. I have matches and a toy car. Red needs to be first, blue needs to be second, yellow needs to be third, and green needs to be fourth. A heart button. Where did I see the need of the heart button? Here. Billy's been having nightmares later, lately. It worries me. He keeps on mentioning a tall man. Maybe it's just imaginary, but maybe it's a warning or something worse. And now he's talking in his sleep. It's not like something someone's trying to persuade him to do something. Never a good sign. Especially something did happen to Elena here. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to use the bank card as a lockpick. Boom. And I can't see diddly squat. Matches! I have matches and there's a candle right there. Well, that just scared a uh, senseless. Maybe then Chinchilla would be less scared if I gave her a tasty treat. But doing so is going to have to wait till next time. Because this is Curtain Call. If you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want me to know if I went below a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye.